I would say I'm a beginning intermediate surfer. Um, so I've been surfing a long time, but unfortunately I only get to the beach maybe four or five times a year. I surf a, an eight foot fun board, you know, basically looking for waves that I can get into and ride down the line, but um, not a lot of tricks or anything like that. For the surf guide package, I was basically looking for um, someone who could help me find the right waves on the right tides that would match my ability, and maybe get some tips to progress my surfing a little bit. And additionally, um, there's a tremendous variety of activities here, like yoga, horseback riding, a trip to a volcano, great food. And so that complete package um, made it really easy for me as well. The surf guide package was really well suited to, to my level. My guide, uh, Josh, was excellent, um, and Garrett were able to get me into waves every day that were really pretty much perfect for, for where I am. And there's a lot of variety of waves here. There's a really famous heavy wave, but then there's also some great intermediate and beginner waves in the area, too. We were able to choose everything based on the tides, the swell, um, the waves that would be really just perfect for me. Uh, having a surf guide really impacted my trip. Um, I've gone on trips by myself where it's really hard to get dialed into the tides, the swell, um, where the best wave's gonna be at any given time. And having a surf guide allowed me to, to go to the spot that was gonna be the best at any particular any particular day. The surf guide package allowed me to get to the waves that I never would have known about that don't appear in any guidebooks or you would never be able to find on the internet. There is a wave that we surfed on the last day um, that had literally no one anywhere anywhere near it. Beautiful longboarding wave and we never would have found the, any of those waves um, without, without the surf guide. The surf conditions in Nicaragua, um, northern Nicaragua, are, are special in the sense that the water's warm, um, but there's not huge crowds at most of the breaks here, so that allows an uh, intermediate surfer to be able to get into waves without worrying so much about around really big crowds. We had a variety of waves from pretty steep, pitchy waves all the way down to um, just, just longboarding, mellow waves, um, and, and all of them were fun, and all of them I felt like progressed my surfing. I've been on three surf camp type experiences in the last 10 years. I, I think the difference between the other ones in Amaru were that some are focused really on beginners and as an intermediate it's nice to have the level of focus on, on where I'm at. And also I think the, the culture of Amaru, everyone's so kind and friendly, it really really wants us to have the best possible time and, and really a lot of fascinating people so I think the culture also distinguished it from other experiences that I've had.